Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to unbox and provide a full review of the Vivor Level 2 Charger. This specific model is the, it sports up to 32 amps, which is what I've got in my garage. Uh, and it's running a NEMA 1450 plug matching the outlet I have in my garage. You don't have to worry about that. You just have to make sure that you get the right plug for your garage or whatever you're plugging into. Uh, so level two, why level two? Well, uh, you can charge off of a, off the regular uh, 110 that's probably in your garage, 110 volt, uh, eight amp, and that works just fine. We're gonna put up some numbers here so that you can see the comparisons, but it boils down to uh, if you charge overnight with most electric vehicles uh, running off 110, you're going to get all the electricity that you need for your day-to-day. -day. That's between 75 and 100 kilometers or between 50 and 60 miles of charge every night. That's more than enough for what most people are doing. Once in a while, you need a little more. And I'm gonna have my little Chevy Bolt for a long time. By the way, that's my eighth electric vehicle event. Uh, two Teslas, three Cadillacs, I've had some Fords. Yeah, so I love the electric cars and I have a lot of experience with charging. So hopefully we can shed some light on this for you. So this is the package. I have not opened it other than sledding the box to save the time. So let's see what's in here. Okay. Carrying case, I don't care. Heavier than I would have thought. That's the actual charger, mounting bracket, J1772 for your vehicle. And then there is the NEMA 1450 plug matching the outlet I have in my garage. So when you're buying these, you just have to make sure you get the right one. And then there's a 28 foot cable. So we're gonna take this up in the garage and show it to you a little more, but uh, let's go over a couple of things that you probably wanna know uh, while you're buying it and why I bought this one in particular. So I bought this one, by the way, this is completely unsponsored. Uh, Vivor or Vevor or however it's pronounced has given us nothing. Uh, and uh, you could have bought this on Amazon and a bunch of other places, eBay for instance. Nobody's given us any money for this, it's totally honest. So why do we buy this one? It was the cheapest one we could find that was from a company that we had some trust in. So I could have got something cheaper off of Alibaba, but I wasn't really comfortable with it. So what did I pay for this? Well, this guy, I paid uh, 230 uh, Canadian. There was a $10 instant discount, so I paid 220 Canadian. So for easy math, let's call it 160 US. It's pretty good. This is technically a portable charger, but it's really an indoor outdoor charger and it's really meant to be mounted. So this, uh, this cable I can uh, take with me um, if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, when I'm traveling, I'm not gonna get that plug anywhere, right? I mean, that's just not gonna happen. So uh, I'm going to mount this in my garage. I also found a number of cheaper models had thinner cables. I want a big ass, heavy, serious cable. And you might ask, what if this is a cable mate? Well, a couple of things. One, you're going to drive over it or have some problem with it in the future. Um, yes, uh, mine is actually probably going to be mounted properly. Uh, right now I'm working on my garage and I will make some changes so it will actually be, the charger will be right where it needs to be. But for the moment, it's gonna be on the ground. The operating temperature for this is minus 30 to plus 45 Celsius. So that's about minus 30 Fahrenheit, give or take, to over 100 Fahrenheit. So basically normal operating conditions for Canada. And of course it will work in my garage. The temperatures won't be that extreme in my garage. I don't have a heated garage, but it still doesn't get that cold in there and it doesn't get that hot in there either. So that was something I looked for because there are some charges with actually a smaller range, which was a little unexpected. Other things to look for were uh, display. I wanted to have a charger that actually has some information right on the unit. I didn't want to have something that just had a green light or whatever. I wanted a little LED screen, or in this case, LCD screen. Um, this one uh, tells you, uh, the, you know, the amperage and you know things like that. Uh, but the other feature that this has is an app, and the app, from what I can tell, doesn't really do very much. But it didn't cost anything, so I'm happy to have it. Okay, let's go plug this in and see how it actually works in real life. Thirty-two amp. 
that's what I've got. That's actually a 40 amp circuit, but under Canadian and US law, uh, it can only charge at 80%. Bingo, 31.8 amps. That's pretty close to 32, 240 volt. Hell yeah, that is going to charge very nicely, very fast. I expect I'll get about 420 kilometers, which is about 250 miles uh, on an overnight. And uh, that is a full charge because of course with an electric car, you seldom draw the battery down to zero and you also very seldom charge it up to hundred. So let's see how this charges in real life. That's uh, currently got 193 kilometers on it and it is 9.58. So I'm gonna call that 10 p.m. Okay, so it's exactly two hours later. And I now have 256. Previously, it had 192, so that is 64. So that's an average of 32 kilometers per hour of charging. And that is about, I would guess, 22 miles per hour of charging. A little bit slower than I would have thought, but still just fine. So I figured out why the charger ran a little slower than I would have liked, and that's because we're in a heat wave. The uh, unit was telling me that uh, I was running at uh, somewhere just south of 70 degrees, which is about 150 Fahrenheit. So it dropped it down to 20 amps. And that's a really good thing. I'm super happy with that. That's exactly what it should have done. So what do I think of the uh, Vivor Level 2 charger? Well, seems pretty good. It uh, That cable is one serious cable. And as far as the uh, mounting goes, that was no problem. Uh, normally what I've done is just let that uh, unit uh, hang down when I had Teslas or other faster chargers, level two chargers, I would just let them hang. But uh, it came with a little mounting bracket, so why not put it on? And that's what I did. It's a little prettier. And it looks like I'm going to get a full charge in just a few hours, which is very happy. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. If you uh, like this type of thing, please subscribe. And you can always get a hold of us directly at uh, www.partisanissues.com or uh, you can leave a question or comment below and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.